In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry and bond angle for I2. That's iodine gas. So the first thing we need is a valid Lewis structure. This is the valid Lewis structure for I2. If you need help, there's a link in the description on how to do this Lewis structure. Once we have the Lewis structure, we kind of can note here the only way that these two atoms are going to be oriented is going to be next to each other. Because of that, this will be a linear molecular geometry for I2, for iodine gas. The bond angle would be 180 degrees. Let's visualize that though, just to make sure we understand. So this will be one of the iodine atoms, and let's just add another iodine atom with a single bond. And there it is. And the only way we can have this oriented is in a line. If it's a line straight up and down, or sideways, or straight from us back, it's a linear molecule. When you have two atoms, the electron geometry, that's also going to be linear here. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. For more complex molecules, it gets a little more difficult. You can either use a chart, working with steric number, or you can use what's called the AXE notation. There are links at the end of this video for how to do that. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.